All these great men of God, Pastor Stuart, as I say, soldiers do this, you know, soldiers do this. From Pastor Stuart from South America, Guyana, Amen. Apostle Pastor Jojo from Asia, Philippines, Bishop Ferron from the Caribbean. You're not getting me, you know. And Minister Ferron as well. And Minister Van Wiel from the Caribbean too. Amen. And uh, Pastor Kadesh Desiree from the world. <laughs> Amen. California. Amen. Hallelujah. And I heard that Pastor Hendrix was around. I don't know if he's still here. You know, but uh, I thank God for him. If he's here, we praise God for him too. And many more of our leaders, we praise God for you. Amen. I'm struggling because most of the time when it's time to minister, it ain't easy. Amen. It ain't easy. And you always want to escape. Amen. And I always have an escape. If I start to preach and I don't feel the anointing, I know who to call. Amen. I already got that ready, taken care of. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen? It's not the who, it's the what from God. Come on, somebody. Come on. You must learn to preach sometime and give up the mic and let somebody finish. We are, we, we, we are too personal and too image conscious. Come on, somebody. Sometime I'm preaching and it's not my notes. <laughs> he said, I, I thought it was you. No. It was a brother gave me the notes and gave me the scripture. Half of the time is my wife. The better the sermon is my wife. I, I know you ain't with me, somebody. That's why it sounds so good. Sometimes it's five of us. Amen. You ain't saying amen. Sometime while I'm preaching, they put in verse on the pulpit. Come on, somebody. The one man days are over. The image days are over. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord gave a word, and the word is a great shift is about to come upon the earth a great shift I can only speak it and try to say something about it but whether you receive it or it's spoken well it's going to happen a great shift is about to come on the planet and you got to be very careful it's not going to be good enough to just do good Somebody, you've got to be ready for uh, the great shift. But praise God, there's no secret that God can do. Can you get me? Hit me, hit me, hit me. Hallelujah.
down in the Holy Ghost. Just over the past few days and the past uh, few hours, we have been learning of some things that are happening on the earth right now, and a lot of it is causing a lot of confusion. Just about April last year, or a little before that, some great men of God came upon the scene and they prophesied that there would be some major change on the earth, some apocalyptic change on the earth because of what they call the sabbatical year Shemitah and the historical, uh, 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 the history of the blood moons and out of the calculations of the Jewish feast, huh? the timing of the Jewish feast and the Shemitah sabbatical year and the historical blood moons, they came to the conclusion that between 2014 and about August, September 2015, the earth would go upside down. Things would go bad. Uh, uh, some went as far as to say that it's the coming of the Lord. Some say that an asteroid would hit the earth. And, and, and these are very good people, anointed folks, uh, a seminary trained and, uh, and good living saints of God. And they, they came forth on the earth. And some of them even had the access to the, the Congress, to the U.S. Congress. And they, they wrote books and they, they made comparisons with the World Trade Center and 9-11 and, and the interaction between the present uh, a president and, 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 and the World Trade Center and they came with some high level mathematical calculations and, uh, and said that the, the earth would be upside down because of the blood moon and the Shemitah and the Jewish feast and between April last year and about now it would happen by the Holy Ghost we told you God did not say that. No are we. We have to be careful when the great summit of God has spoken and you are nobody. Go and say no. You can't do that. But if you lead the people without understanding that this is not right. You are responsible. So it's not like trying to put yourself up and say, oh, you little man trying to challenge these great men. Who are you? Under normal circumstance, you don't do that. But when God says it will not happen, you got to speak it because the, the shame and, and, and confusion and trouble is about to come upon the body of Christ. And there's one thing about prophecy. Remember, prof prof prophecy is not tentative. You cannot strategize a prophecy to come to pass. Come on, somebody. If there'll be no rain, there'll be no rain. Don't be mathematical and, and, and spiritual and exegetical and, come on, and theological. Come on, somebody, to prove to me that rain will fall. Well, under God's hand, no rain will fall. So before you prophesy, even though you're a good person, you have respect for the fact that rain may fall or may not fall. Glory to God. And with that respect, you go to God and say, God, talk to me. You can't calculate this thing. Can I say something to you? If you can calculate when the things are going to happen, it means the sinner can do it too. Come on. I lost it right there because you're calculating. I thought you'd say a big amen there. Ha! If the preacher in the pulpit can get in the spirit, speak in tongues, and count Jewish feasts, count Shemitah, and count blood moon, and then prophesy with calculation, any educated intellectual, mathematical expert can take the same numbers and prophesy. So with all due respect and in humility, you know, I have to say, it is very sad. It's very, very sad. As we see one of the 
one of the top men, one of the top men, the actual top person who postulated these prophecies, did a video this week and begin to back up and begin to say, well, I didn't say it's going to happen now. I say it's possible. You know, a possibility is not prophecy. It may be a good uh, a counseling, uh, 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 a counsel, but it's not a prophecy. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 18, 22, if it happened, it came from God. If it did not happen, it did not come from God. But you must first have respect. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It will happen or not happen. Jesus. So grieving. It's so painful. It's so difficult. One of the hard part why it's so difficult is who are you? Who are we? So you're trying to, to pick apart. Who are you? You have to be careful. I don't believe in damaging ministers. Everybody want to attack ministers and call their name and, 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 and come on. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in cutting off Saul's garment. Come on. I don't believe in doing that. Amen. I'll more come and try. I'll come and hide. Amen. You're gone and I'll hide something. Amen. But, but there come the time I, I went before God and said, God, what can we do, God? We're so small. We, we are nobodies. Lord, what can we do about this? Ah! And I heard the Lord. The Lord said, a great shift is about to happen. It's about to happen. A great shift. I'm going to shift so hard. The body of Christ will not be ready for it. Now, I may not be able to say a lot more about this shift, but remember, a great shift is in the making. Be careful where you stand. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you hold on to. Be careful who you hold on to. Be careful where you hold on to. Be careful where you go, because a great shift is about to happen and the first thing about this shift is that shift is first of all a godly shift hallelujah it's a godly shift and it's a prophetic shift holy ghost someone say holy ghost help him someone say holy ghost help him god is about to move the church from a normal, conventional, good quality, high worshiping, preaching church, I mean the body of Christ, into a prophetic era. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God is about to bring the church out of our good administration and our, and our good strategies and our, our good publicity and our, our good advertisement and our good fundraising and, our, and all the good things we are doing and God is about to move the body of Christ into a prophetic era but this era is tough it is easy to prophesy the reason why they miss all the time they think it's easy no it's hard but we got to go there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say amen, church. Say amen, church. Just about anybody, any group, any entity can set up a religious organization, can set up a church, can have good music, good singing, good, good preaching, good, uh, good teaching. Glory to God. But it takes something else to speak the things to come. Come on, somebody. It takes something else. Come on, somebody here. Anybody who is well trained can lead a church. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hear God say, get ready for the prophetic. I hear God say, church, don't be afraid of it. I hear God say, some folks are afraid of it. No, take on the tough job. And God said, this tough job, Islam can't handle. It's tough for you, but they can't handle it. Say amen. Saudi Arabia has no church. 
You put up a church, you go to jail. And we show you last week where Saudi Arabia is the number five viewer on this channel. Why? They are gripped by the fulfillment of prophecy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! United Emirates is number seven in the top ten out of 300 countries. We discover that they are gripped by prophetic fulfillment. We discover that they are drawn by prophetic fulfillment. So I hear God said, you discover their hiding place. You discover where they land. You discover what they're concerned about. So I hear God to put some more in it. I hear God to put some more prayer in it. My God of mercy. I hear God to put some fasting in it. I hear, I hear God to put yourself together. I hear God says, I'm going to shift the church. If you're a singer and you have a song, a record, and it does well, you turn that song into the leading song of an album. Come on, somebody. And you promote that song. Come on, somebody. You spend money on that song. And I found that the prophetic is causing the false religions to be gripped. Hallelujah. Ah! God said, get ready for this shift tough hard difficult prayer fasting holiness humility come on brokenness glory to God see your fault when you go wrong come on somebody contrite how about when you finish the signature of God will be seen among you they will know the difference because you have the voice of God. Say amen. Say amen. This shift is first a godly shift. Some folks want to shift into sin. And they use the words, I want to come out of the box. But what they mean, they want to come out of holiness. That's what they really mean. No, it's not going to work. Psalm 25, verse 14. He says, the secret of the Lord, help me, is with them that fear him. I said secret. I said secret. I said secret. That's what they can't handle. I said secret. God says in Isaiah 48 and verse 6, I have shown thee new things in this time even hidden things and thou didst not know it come on somebody so God said to, to hear from me you gotta fear me come on somebody somebody say a great shift somebody say it's godly somebody say godly the Bible says in Jeremiah 15 and verse 19 God says for you to hear my voice for you to be my mouth you have to be able to separate the precious from the vile. You got to know hardcore the difference between good and bad. Can I tell you something? Glory to God. You can't just look. I'm going to get in trouble. Maybe I, if I get in trouble, I'll, I'll, I'll be better off. Glory to God. You can look on an individual and know if they're going to prophesy right or wrong. I know you never hear that in your life. Come on, somebody. Did you hear what I said? If you're worldly, you ain't going to be right. I don't care, don't like me. I'm telling you. When John the Baptist was on the earth, he had to do some stuff we don't do. We were all some stuff and drink honey and, and help me on, help me on. Locusts and all those stuff. You ain't going to eat those stuff. That's why you ain't prophesying. You just want to eat um, McDonald's. Come at me now. I'm giving you the bomb right now. I'm giving you the bomb right now for you to hear God's voice. You gotta be more than holy. Ooh. I don't know you didn't hear that. You gotta be more than holy. Hallelujah. You gotta be godly. Hallelujah. 
God says, those who hunger, help me, I can't finish, I'll finish it next week. And thirst, help me church, after righteousness. Uh, God didn't say you got to be perfect. No, don't, don't get me wrong now. If you talk about perfection, right, you're going on the other side. Come on, somebody. But you've got to, you've got to hunger. Hallelujah. You're, you're struggling, but you're hungry. You, you miss some time. You're trying to do this, and you're not doing very well. But God's your heart that you're hungry. If you time you sleep, my God, you cry all night and say, God, why did I do that? Why did I behave like that? And God, to your heart, is hungry. And God said, those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall, he says, shall. Come on, come on, you're not listening to me. You don't want to hear that word, shall. You want to get away with it. Come on, John. Ah! God said, if you hunger and thirst after righteousness, you will be filled with my words. You will become my mouth. You will become my lips. I'll speak to you in the night time. I'll wake you up in the morning. He said, I wake you up early in the morning to teach your ear to hear as they learn, man. Somebody say, a great shift. Somebody say, a great shift. God said this shift is godly. All them folks trying to prophesy is not going to work. You have to be godly. You have to be godly. You have to love God bad. Come on now. Come on now. Good. Love God good. Thank you. Come on. Real good. Hallelujah. Say amen. Say amen. If you don't say amen, I'm going to hand over it. Just say amen. The second thing about this shift hey, is that it is gracious Go write it down gracious hey. the Bible says in Isaiah 15 verse 15 it says for thus said the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity whose name is holy I dwell in a high and lofty place with him also of a contrite spirit to revive the spirit of the humble. This shift is gracious. By gracious, I mean that it's available to those who are unqualified. In this shift, God says, I will, I will go from the selected to the rejected. Come on, somebody. I will go from obscurity <laughs> to publicity. You feel obscu obscure. You feel isolated. You feel left behind. Not called upon. Hallelujah. Don't have the mighty and great gifts. The shift is coming for you. God said the shift is gracious. He said, not many mighty or wise or noble are called. In 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27 to 29, he says, even the foolish things I'm going to cause ah, to confound the wise. Hello. He said, even the mighty things I'm going to cause to confound those not mighty or the weak. He said, what's this one? He said, those that are not Confound with those that are the nothing will confound the something you ain't saying amen. This shift is gracious, it's for you. Hallelujah! Every sinner is invited to become a believer in this shift. Say amen. Say amen. I, I have a little admonition for you pastors whenever you preach no matter how much you preach about healing or deliverance draw in the net first come on somebody don't, don't, don't call for healing at the end you say is there anybody who needs to get saved you know, that's nearly an insult no matter how you preach mighty about something else you first draw in the net bring in the souls amen so they can be a part of what you're preaching Say amen. Say amen. For Jesus said, I come not to call. You're helping me the righteous. Help me, church. 
but sinners to repentance for the son of man is come help me here to seek and to save that which was lost the shift is gracious is open to the sinner if he will come to Jesus for he says in Matthew 6 verse 33 he says seek ye first help me the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added Matthew 9 verse 18 verse 60 come all ye that labor help me and I heavy laden come on come on I say gracious and I will give you rest this shift cinnamon is for you you have the first privilege to be a part of the shift some things are going to happen on the earth take the shift now but then now is the day of salvation it's a seeking the Lord while he may be found call you upon him see the man see the woman see the girl see the man Shibaba Sata is shifting time. Rabo Kota Rabababa. The earth is about to shift. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody said a great shift. God said this great shift will be gracious. It's open right now. But every Shina. Become a believer. This shift will allow every believer to become a preacher. You ain't saying amen. amen. Some of you get all kind of vision and see yourself in the pulpit. I know you're trying to hide it. Don't hide it. It's gonna happen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. If you ever see yourself in a vision preaching, maybe before a pulpit or on a mountain. Or in a cornfield or whatever. It's the call of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. Some of a great shift. In this great shift, every sinner, we must reach them to become a believer. That's their business if they don't come. Every believer must be mobilized to become a preacher. Say amen. Hallelujah. And every preacher must be mobilized to become a seer, to see in the Holy Ghost, to become a visionary, to become a prophet. Don't let it go, church. Don't let it go. It ain't easy, but don't let it go. The Bible says in Amos 3 and verse 7, God will allow nothing to happen unless he reveal it to his servants first. God said in Daniel 2, 22, he revealed the deep and secret things. That's how God is. He said in Amos 8, verse 11 onwards, he said, in this hour, there will be a famine for the word of God. That's why it's so tough. Come on, somebody. But any time you find the food during famine, it will be in demand. Say amen. Say amen. Don't be moved by the famine. Get the food. Come on, somebody. You ain't saying amen. I'm trying to do good. Amen. Doing famine. Get the food. Like Joseph. And they're going to come from the east. And they're going to come from the west. To hear you. Even though it's tough to find the food. Doing famine. God, you are anointed to find it. Say amen, somebody. Say amen, somebody. So in this great shift, God said it is godly and it is gracious. Every sinner, a believer, help me out. Every believer, a preacher. Come on, come on, come on. Every preacher, a seer. God says in this shift, come out of tradition of men and embrace vision. God says, I'll shift you from obscurity to publicity. Hallelujah. God says, if you are famous, 
get ready to be nameless. Oh my God, I know I got into trouble. I told you already. I told you already. Get ready to be nameless. I hear God saying, all those big entities that you are depending on to promote you. This is the me good. All them big uh, 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 media corporations and, uh, and Christian media corporations. That you're trying to, 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 to work on your career and you're, you're trying to structure your career and your movement so it matches them and please them. God said don't match them and please them. God said they are temporary. Can I talk to somebody here? Can you hit me somebody? God said you're going to look for them and don't see them. God said they're either going to collapse, they're going to be restricted, or they're going to be contracted by the system i lost the right there i lost the right there i lost the right there. they got either going to be colla either collapsed they're going to be restricted i mean they, they won't have much they, they can't do much or they're going to be contracted by the system i hear god say man of god woman of god mighty preacher mighty author mighty actor mighty singer are you going to take your mind off the big entities and put your mind on me take your I didn't say they are bad. No, don't get me wrong. No, no, I got it. I didn't say they are bad right now. I didn't, I didn't speak against it. I'm just prophesying and tell you that God said, I'll tell you that they are temporary. God said, Take your eyes off them. God said, They can't help you. I alone can help you. My own arm brought salvation. I look for a man to stand in the gap and I found none but my own arm. Ah! God said, they are about to sell out. He said, this shift is gracious. He said, the last will become first. Say amen. The limited will become gifted. The peasant will become royal. I can't hear nobody here. The heart will become healthy. <laughs> Are you insane? Amen with me. You leave it all on me here, somebody. The pew will become the pulpit. Oh, somebody here. You're not talking to me here. I'm losing. You didn't hear that word. You didn't hear that word. You didn't hear that word. The pew God is about by God to raise up the pew. Some of you want to run from your pew to come up here. All you have on your mind is up here. Come on, you're too boring. Come on, somebody. Amen. The pew is the best place. Come on, somebody. For when you're in the pew, nobody see you. Come on, somebody. So you receive the full anointing of the Holy Ghost. Anybody ever preached before them were before? Don't put up your hand. Okay, you're not going to look so dignified. You want to feel God? Go before your mirror. Come on, somebody. Put on your neck. Come on, somebody. And open your Bible. Come on, somebody. And preach. Hallelujah, till you fall down. Glory to God of mercy here. Amen. Somebody said, Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Somebody said, A great shift. Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. Don't fight me right. You're fighting because you're still holding on. You're still holding on. God says in Mark 7 13, He said, Tradition has made the word of God of none effect. God says in Isaiah 42 and verse 9, He said, The former things are come to pass. Talk to me, somebody, and behold, I do a new thing. Somebody say a great shift. Lift your hands and begin to feel it right now. Come on, lift your hand and work with me. My God, or I'll have to stop. I can't go too far ahead of you. Lift your hands and say, I receive the shift. Iris, come on, somebody. I receive a shift from the Lord. I'm talking about the Lord's shift. I'm talking about God's shift, not man shift, not secular shift, not sin shift. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about the Lord's shift. Lift your hands into heaven and say, Lord, I receive it. Lord, I receive it. Lord, I know it's tough. I know it's rough. My God of mercy, I don't want nothing new right now. I have enough problems with the holder, but I hear. God said, I can't put new wine in old wine skins. I hear God said, the body of Christ has got to shift. And God said, I just shift. 
Hallelujah. I'll be with you. The third shift is a grand shift. It's grand. It means it's big. It means it's excellent. It means it's top of the line. It means it's climactic. It means climax. It means it's maximum. Most folks want to turn want to take God business small. I've never heard folks say, I like to go to a small church so I can be used. And you think they're deep, they're not deep. They're shallow. You never hear this in your life. Hallelujah, speaking to God like a small church. Come on, they look spiritual, no? Come on, if you're in a small church, you must want it to become big. No, yeah. Can't get no big game in from you. You hear what I said? Because you're supposed to be winning souls. You're supposed to be strengthening the believers. You're supposed to be fellowshipping with the brethren. And if you're doing it, it must grow. Come on, somebody. If you're doing it, it must increase. So when they say they want a small church, they want to reduce the evangelism. They want to reduce the discipleship training. They want to reduce the fellowship. I lost it right there. Come on, somebody. God's will is for a big church. I know every turn, every turn you turn, they only attack the mega churches. I don't do those stuff. I say, oh, the mega church, mega churches, mega church sin and little church sin. Come on. Mega pastor come with adultery and little church pastor come with adultery. I lost it right there. You ain't coming with me, somebody here. But when the Holy Ghost came down like a dove in the book of Acts, you ain't saying amen. And they began to speak in tongues as the Holy Ghost gave them utterance. The Bible said the church started with 3,000 people. Come on. So you don't, you don't like the church. Come on, so don't go there. The first church. Come on, somebody. In Jerusalem, started with 3,000 people. Uh, don't get upset. I'm, I'm just teaching. I'm just helping. You. Don't, don't talk like that. If you're in a small church, well, you, you know, you're, you're not in sin, but work on it to make it be big. Large. Grand. Most of you here and leaders, you don't know. My biggest burden is to enlarge this. No, no. You can't suit me with nothing else. Don't bother impress me. You, you could change the carpet here, put a new sign, and spend one billion inside of here if it look good. I don't even see it. When I'm talking to you, I'm still courteous. I'm talking nice, but I don't see it. The bigger. The growth is out from 10 years ago. You ain't saying that. You see, I lost it right there. I want to change carbon. I don't care about carpet. I prefer to eat long and we worship on dirt. We already give the commission from a year ago. It's not my fault. I'm letting it go right now. We already give the commission. To enlarge. It's not my fault. Come on, somebody. But anything with God is big. Anything with God is enlarged. Isaiah 54 verse 2. Enlarge. You're fighting me. Now you're fighting me right now. Enlarge. That place of your tent. If large was wrong, why is it in the Bible? Come on, somebody. A final verse and make your church small. He said, We're towards we are gathered in the verse of church. Come on, somebody here. Ah! This shift after teacher, after teacher, because you're getting spiritual with smallness and me. God said, This shift is large, this shift is grand. This shift is excellent. It's, it, it has quality. It will be professional. It has the best equipment. The best sound. The best video. Come on somebody. The best books. Come on somebody. This shift got the best authors. The best musicians. The best singers. You think we are fooled? You know, you know who to get here. No, 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 no. You know, you know, you know, with me. Uh, come on, somebody. This shift is not mediocre. Ah! This shift uh, is grand. Uh, come on, somebody. The temples of old, uh, hallelujah, was the highest quality building.
building on the planet. Ah! Somebody say a great shift. It is grand. Yes, it is grand. It is grand. It is grand. My God of mercy. Stand up everybody. Stand up everybody. The shift is godly. Someone said great shift. The shift is gracious. It's for all. Say so amen. And the shift is grand. This shift is also global. The biggest auditorium in the world is in Philippines. It's owned by a, a kind of church, a kind of a church, the biggest building on the planet. Yes, in Philippines. But you never heard about it because it's not global. It's big, but it's not global. It's grand, but it's not. Are you with me, somebody? Hallelujah. This shift is global. All of the cultural sentiment has no place in this shift. Hallelujah. Some of the global. Sometimes I go by a church and I, I will look at their vision. And the vision is just local. Nice vision, but it's to help the families in the community. To foster fellowship and good family uh, improvement and strength. Very good. But that's local. God's a quit it. God's a change. God's a shift is global. You're a global man. When you gave tonight, you gave your money. And a percentage of it can't stay or something wrong. A percentage of it. A large percentage. Don't get upset when they send your money to Philippines. Don't get upset. Come on, son. Be glad. It's not local. Hallelujah. You ain't local folks. Christians ain't local people. That's why God said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. That's why the Bible said, for God so loved thee. Come on, somebody. It's all global. The Bible says in Joel 2, 28, in the last days, I'll pour of my spirit upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Racism has no place in this shift. Racists will be whipped. God of mercy. And you didn't know that racism is, you didn't know that racism is a form of mental illness. If you come this week, I, I, I'll show you. First, you hear it in your life. Woo. Racism is a form of mental derangement. And that's why when, when Miriam practiced it, God changed her skin. <laughs> Come on, somebody. God changed. Hallelujah. The tone of her skin and gave her the worst skin. <laughs> to knock her mind back into normal. Ah! Somebody a great shift. The shift is global. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you saying amen? Are you saying amen? amen? Don't worry, I'm almost finished. It's global. It's the all flesh effect. This shift, one man ministry not going to do well in it. If God promotes, you got to promote somebody. If God gives you an opening, you got you to open it for somebody too. You got you to promote a group and promote one person. Come on, say amen. 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 This shift is an all flesh shift. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Last week I saw as the as the, the, the focus on the family. Anybody heard about them? This is the biggest religious organization in the world. In Christendom. Focus on the family. And I saw them as they allow some children to preach for God so loved the world. The children did not only preach for God so loved the world, but they preached the extended version. Come on, somebody. For God, and they talk about God. So love the world, and they talk about the world. 
it means that they are catching. If you look in the ninth old book, it's right there. Come on, somebody from eight, nine years ago. It's right, that version is right there. And it's beginning to catch because it's not a one man thing. Is that a two man thing? Is that a three man thing? It's an all flesh thing. It's a world thing. It's a global thing. That's why God gave us the world a vision day. That's why God gave us the world. My God, somebody got it? <laughs> Amen. That's why God gave us the world vision every journey. No, it's global. Take your mind off the local. Say amen. Don't worry, I'm finished. In this shift, we move from segregation to integration. From, from cultural to universal. Say amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say a great shift. This great shift is number one what? Come on. Godly. Godly. Somebody say godly. godly. Number two, gracious. Number three, grand. Number four, global. Number five, let me finish. This shift, this shift, somebody said this shift. Somebody said a great shift. This shift is to be guarded. Yes, this is the hard part now. But folks will understand. When God gives you a breakthrough in anything, you've got to guard it. If God gives you a new car, you got to pray over it. Cover it under the blood. Huh? And expel accident. Are you there? Expel danger. You got to guard it. Say amen. I remember most time when I, when, when, when I sport a club, soccer club, put a ball in the goal, they become exposed. Come on, somebody. You've got to guard it. This shift I've got to be guarded. Say amen. God did something very mysterious in the Bible. In Isaiah chapter 2, God says that his word is protected by the Jews. Did you know? When God sent his word, hallelujah, when God gave us the word, God did not just give us the word like that because the word is so powerful. Anybody could change it. Anybody could try and change it. Anybody could be tricky. But God gave the responsibility to preserve the word to the Jews. Can you say amen? I'm finished. Isaiah 2 and verse 3. And many shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his way. And we will walk in his path. Here the last part. Here this part now. For out of Zion, that's the Jews, shall go forth the law, that's the Bible, and the word of God from Jerusalem. God chose Israel. God chose the Jews to preserve the scriptures we have today. And as God raised up this mighty move of God, and as God made these shifts, I hear God says, they have got to be guarded. I hear God says, as you go global, leaders do not try to do it alone. If you're like me, I need no help. But a few years ago, the Lord rebuked me and said, if you think you need no help, you'll never reach the world. For no matter how powerful you think you are, you need support. Moses needed Caleb and Joshua. Paul needed Timothy. Say amen. amen. Elijah needed Elijah. Say amen. Jesus needed Peter. He knew that Peter had that sword there because he knows all. Come on somebody. Jesus needed the apostle. Say amen. I hear God says in this shift, you have got to be guarded. There are some folks who struggle when God raised up a, a servant, an apostle, or a, a global minister, or a global visionary, they, they can't handle the fact that he needs or she needs support. And they criticize. And that's why some die by the gun. Did you hear what I said? The president of this country is one person. Am I right? But in order for his presidency to be effective, he needs a secretary of state, a personal secretary, a press secretary, <laughs> uh, 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 
Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education, Secretary of, of Health. Are you there? Are you with me, somebody? In his secret service. Are you there? So if you're not careful, you try to leave and say, oh, who do you really think he is? He got folks for supporting him. He will not live a month. He will die. The move will go down when you see God hand upon a man of God or a woman of God. Amen. To conquer the planet, you must guard him. You must guard her. You must guard that ministry. And that's missing today. And folks take ministers as bulletproof. And that's why so many died in South Carolina. Because they're not guarded. And I hear God say, this shift, this shift we're having must be guarded. Be protected. Hallelujah. Can I, can I get unspiritual? Come on. You're going to call it unspiritual. Right now, even though I'm preaching up a storm, we got armed folks right here. Right now. So don't worry your brain. Nobody can come and kill 10. Die. I lost the right there now. You say I lost the right there now. We can't tell you everything at the same time. Right now, don't worry your brain. We got armed members right now. Right here. <laughs> move of God must be guarded the shift must be guarded we open a church in Atlanta so, so when New York go down we have somewhere to go cause New York going down I don't care if you don't like me I don't care if you don't like me here yeah. come on I said, New York going down is too wicked come on somebody the men cannot even sit in the train and have their foot apart they put their foot together like a girl child Come on, somebody, and God don't judge this city. Amen. So, glory to God. So, because of the move of God, we have a hope in Atlanta. Come on, you ain't saying amen. Amen. And we, and we set up Atlanta with technology. Come on, somebody. So, we have to run from New York. Amen. The move still goes on. Say amen. Yeah, I know you're very me, but that's all right. You still don't, don't prepare yourself and be ready. But devil is a liar. And now, and, now, and now we're working on a hub in Philippines. You ain't saying amen. You ain't saying amen. The man of God, the man of God, Pastor Jojo, he told me, he said, he said, he said, Bishop, I know we are the, the gateway church fellowship, whatever. And we have so many churches, but God tell me to hand over one to harvest on me. That's the hub. Ah! The shift must be guarded, protected. Some people must be willing to give their very life for the shift. It's a prophetic shift. It's a revelation shift. It's a visionary shift that is about to confound man. Confound every religion. Even the very Vietnamese government. Come on, sir. subscribe to the channel. Come on, because they want to know, hallelujah, what's coming next. That's why God says in the last days, I'll pour off my spirit. Tonight, if you're here and you're not saved, you need to be saved. For the shift, things are about to change. It will not be the same. Tomorrow is promised to no man. Come, sir. Come, ma'am. If you're not saying, just say, I am without one plea to understand that love. Come right now. Come, we're going to pray with you. 
you need to be in the shift. Things are going to change. When you're ready, it will not look the same. It's about a change. Come right now. Come to Jesus. Will you come? Will you come? Godly shift, this gracious shift, this grand shift. What's the fourth one again? What's the fourth one again? What? This global shift and it's guarded shift. If you plan to be in it, just draw to your We won't let you go quickly. Just come right now. Hallelujah. Come and let God, let God work on you. Let God prepare you for this. Yes, Lord. Uh, he shall have shown thee new things in this time. Even hidden things. Some new things are about to happen. God is about to visit you. He says, call on the Lord. I think Jeremiah 33, verse 2. Call on me, and I will show you great and mighty things which you know not. It ain't easy to preach like this because you're saying stuff that is not the, the normal cliche that everybody hears, and it sounds good. It's quite challenging. But I did what I could to just show you it's going to shift, church. It's going to shift. Don't get too comfortable. Hallelujah. Don't get too comfortable. It's going to shift back. Confusion is in the land. Go ahead and pray right now. Say, God, help me, Lord. I can handle it. Prepare me, Lord, to be a sanctum. Yes, go ahead right now. Woman, prepare, prepare to walk in the ship. Come out of the normal. Don't care what they say about it. Do the crazy thing. Do the crazy thing. Ma, ba, 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 ba. Ha! Don't dwell on the past. The past ain't gonna hold you. She, ba, 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 ba. Ha, ha. My plans for you are future. She, ba, 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 ba. They won't understand it. But it's future. She, ba, ba, ba. It's beyond their eyes. It's beyond their imagination. Do it. She, ba, ba, ba. She. Go ahead and reach out. Say, Lord, prepare me, Lord. Go ahead, go ahead, come on now. Jesus. Jesus. Open my eye, Lord. Go ahead and pray. Open my eye. Open my eye, Lord. Open my eyes. Let me see in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Open my eyes. Let me see. Some water. Open my eyes. Hey. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes. Let me see.
church. You see his reason. Overseer calling. Open my eyes. Reach out. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Shifting. 
Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to Jesus. And we want to make sure we are on the right side. Come on, somebody. We want to make sure we are in the right place. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Can you hear me right now? Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when God made a shape, glory to God, we want to make sure we are shifting with God. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are moving with the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to just lose yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to God right now in the spirit. Just lose yourself. Glory to God. Just lose yourself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to Jesus. Anybody remember Sodom and Gomorrah? Come on, somebody. God was making a great shift. Anybody remember Noah with the heart? Come on, somebody. God was making a world shift. Come on, somebody. And we want to make sure we are on the right side. We are in the right shift. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to just lift up your hands right now. And just be loose in the spirit. Come out of this world right now. Take down the music a little bit. I want you to come out of your fleshly zone right now. Take it down a little bit. Come on, somebody. I said, I want you to come out of your fleshly zone right now. Come on, somebody. Anybody remember the word of God? So listen, I'm going to set a mark upon some people. Come on, somebody. We want to mark for the shift of God. Come on, somebody. Just lose yourself right now. And say, Holy Spirit, take me over. Take me over. Take me over. Take me over. I'm moving with you. I'm shifting with you. I'm not going to be left behind. I'm shifting with you. Hallelujah. 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 In the days of Noah, come on somebody. Hallelujah. The shift was dramatic. Something imaginable to some people. My God. But there are some people who be in the shift of God. Take it down a little bit. Hallelujah, I want you to just lose yourself right now. Just lose yourself right now and find it in the hands of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, not pray in the spirit. Hallelujah, not pray in English language right now. Hallelujah, not pray in your understanding right now. I want to pray in the spirit right now. Hallelujah, pray in the spirit for the next three minutes and we finish. Hallelujah. I said, pray in the Holy Ghost. I said, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Just, just, yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Come out of your English zone right now. Come out of your fleshly zone right now. Just as, oh, my mama, my lady, Holy Spirit, just take you over. Take you over, take you over. Masho talabaha. Esotoloma handala mashia. Ondala mashata. Yes, go ahead, go ahead in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, yes, so Talabaha, O Satalababa Bashata, Maso Talabaha, go ahead in the Holy Ghost, you are not your own, hallelujah, Maso Talabashata, you are not your own, yes, 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 Mama, Mama, Mashata, Maso Talabaha, O Kotalabaha. Yes, O Talabaha, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, yes, 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 shifting with the Lord, shifting with the Lord, shifting with the Holy Ghost, shifting with the Lord, yes, yes. 
mama mama masata ye mama mama masata eko taya masata endolo masata mama mama masata holo maseko tala maha yes in the name of jesus go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. mama 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 masata endolo mama maseto eko ndala masata yes akata ya maha elo mosoto ala mama maseto yes in the mighty name of jesus in the holy name of jesus in the great name of jesus i'm in the holy ghost shift 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 i'm in the shift of the holy ghost i'm in the shift of the holy ghost go ahead go ahead Yes, the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy God is setting up his kingdom. Come on, somebody. He's doing his shifting. Yes, in the name of Jesus. He's putting on his seal. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And we are in this Holy Ghost shift. We are in this Holy Ghost shift. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 If the Lord is dealing with you, don't stop. Don't stop. Come back out tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, praise God. Hallelujah. As the Lord continues to have his way. Glory to God. And as I hear God's servant. Glory to God. You didn't hear her sing tonight. Glory to God. You didn't hear her sing tonight. You got to come back tomorrow night. Come on somebody. Remain in this Holy Ghost shift. Oh come on somebody. Remain in this Holy Ghost shift. And let the Lord have his way. No benediction tonight. No benediction tonight. Go home high and lifted up. High and lifted up. This is a high shift. This is a Holy Ghost shift. Go home with the Spirit of God and come back tomorrow night. Hallelujah. 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 High in the Holy Ghost. High in the Holy Ghost. High in the Holy Ghost. Some of us need to go in fasting and prayer tomorrow night. That we come back out, charge up. Oh, come on, somebody. As the Lord move. Holy Ghost, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the mighty name of Jesus.